What's happening? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. That means what's happening Wednesday. With Carrie. And Bizarro Fett. Yeah. So we haven't been here. No, we haven't. It's been Christmassy. We've been Christmassy and New Year'sy and not wanting to record. You know, we didn't really do much of anything. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. We just kind of <laughs> bummed out, man. We did not anything. Like... I mean, we obviously, we celebrated Christmas and stuff like that. I got Christmas presents and all we, that. We did. We did. Awesome presents. We did get some awesome presents. We did feel the love. Can you feel the love tonight? Tonight. Okay. So that was your musical interlude. And uh, so, Joe, what was some shit you got for Christmas? I got a Jonah Hex book that I've been wanting for forever. I got Batman's or not Batman, yeah, Batman Spawn book. Uh-huh. I got uh-huh. I got a, a Mirror Universe Spock Funko Pop. I got yeah. another controller so you can finally play with me, which I'm going to demand you do very soon. <laughs> <laughs> play Xbox. Play Xbox. We wouldn't talk on the program about playing with each other. Uh, let's see. What know else? Of. I got. Oh, I got the last Driss book. So I got all the big fat Driss books, and I'm so excited because I fucking love Driss. Driss is my shit right now, man. It's been total jam. So basically, to, to clarify for for the audience at home, or wherever they're listening to this, um, you got there. Are, there are like a, a few different like. They're not. There's four omnibuses. Okay, so we would call them omnibuses. Yeah. Okay, because they're, they're not big comics. Co- they're big collections. Okay, so they collect like three books each. Yep, three, four, right? four books in one of them. Um, so you now have the four omnibuses that are in yes. print. Okay. That's nowhere near all the Driss books. Though. Nowhere near all the Driss no. books. There's a lot of them, There's apparently. Um, you got Kyle Rayner. I did. I got Kyle Rayner, which is one of my favorite Green Lantern. Uh, oh, man. Well, we got Nightfall uh, Volume 3. Uh, yes. God, we just got a lot of cool stuff, man. What did you get? I got, um, if you guys were, had checked out my comic book review that I did on New Year's Day, um, you saw my Harley Quinn t-shirt. Uh, I got that. Long sleeve Harley Quinn shirt. Really cool. Um, I got, uh, Pretty Deadly, uh, the first trade paperback of that. Oh, wait, to bust right in. One really awesome present. I got Super Mario Brothers, 93 movie, and oh my god, it was it so great. I watched it, like... Right away. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. I don't mean to interrupt you, but Taylor Swift. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to let you finish, Taylor. But I got Super Mario Brothers, the movie. The one with John Leguizamo. Yes. We love John Leguizamo in this household. We do. We do. We we celebrate his entire filmography. Even Spawn. Hey, man, I kind of like that Spawn movie. Yeah, he was really good as Violator. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those movies where you're like, you're watching it, and you're like... Did you ever see The Pest? That is fucking John Leguizamo. Yes. As The Violator. That's one, It's kind of like the same kind of feels that you get watching The Batman with um, Colin Farrell as as uh, uh, Penguin. Yeah, but not, yeah. not even nearly as much. Like, um, don't even put those in the same room together. We can't Because one them. is a masterpiece, and one is an alright piece of cinema that I can watch like if I'm stoned enough. <laughs> yes, um, we are of course calling the Batman a masterpiece, which was we we had a uh, let's see here um, what what else did I get for Christmas? Um, fuck. Um, well, let's see. Let's, I, wait, I we got, got the, box the right here. Oh, I got one of those really cool like permanent canvas comic book bags. I got one of those. Um, I got tons of candy. Cause you know that's the way for me. I, I love I love chocolate. Um, I got the Yara Floor DC Future State Funko yeah. Pop. Thank you for reminding me, dear. I got the Wonder Woman Black Lantern uh, Funko Pop from that whole you know uh, Blackest Night series. Um, and um, I kind of like get to enjoy the 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 uh, Batman Spawn book as well because I'm totally gonna read that shit. Yeah, obviously. Um, Not like I'm like no, you can't read my books. 
<laughs> and I kind of get to to uh, uh, get down on the um, what am I what am I talking about uh, the the controller basically. Yeah, the controller's yours. The controller's basically for both of us. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I got like a, a couple Funko Pops, a book, uh, uh, the comic book box, um, like, yeah, I got some cool stuff. I got food, too. We got, um, Swiss Colony little gift box from your, your aunt and uncle. Um, so yeah, we, we had a pretty good time. Let me tell you something. Um, we... But it, but um, New Year's Eve, we didn't do anything. You passed out before New Year's, and they got mad at me because I tried to wake you up. And we call that <laughs> sleep. I have two different personalities, not medically, but apparently I'm a real bitch in my sleep. Okay, so we call her Sleepy Carrie, and she's a real bitch. Okay, so like, and I'm not. Don't get on my case. Don't call yourself a bitch. No. Sh I have been told, not just by Joe here, but multiple people about my personality <laughs> issues while I'm sleeping. Apparently, I was very mean to Joe on New Year's Eve because he, he took a nap and then made it to midnight and he came to, to kiss me, you know, Happy New Year, and he came to wake me up. And apparently I was very mean to him, and I have no recollection of it the next morning. Oh, well. It is what it is. Um, we didn't really do much for New Year's. I, no. I never do much for New Year's. Even in my party days, I didn't do much for New Year's. I always thought it was lame. Like, I never wanted to be one of these, like, well, I'm partying for New Year's. Oh, God. Gag me with a fucking spoon before I ever do that. And oh. when we lived with other people, it was like we gamed. We yeah. gamed on New Year's. And like like we played D and D or um, before I met you, sweetie, we played Vampire the Masquerade. We uh, like all those kind of things. That was that was what we did. I think I think in the last like ten years, I went out for I went out out for New Year's Eve once, maybe twice, and that's it. Like, I, I was done with the whole going out thing pretty pretty early on. Um, but you actually have been to Times Square. Yeah. Um, and hated the whole experience. Mm -hmm. It was fucking terrible. I would never do it again. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, we had, we had cheese and sausage um, and crackers and... I vegged out for quite a while. Um, New Year's Day, I got up, came out in the living room. It's really funny. Apparently, I have watched the Batman enough times that he knows exactly when I've started watching it. Or he's watched the Batman way too many times. I've watched quite a few times, actually, now. Yeah. I could watch it again. We should watch it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say probably no. Is, is the cat playing with my shoe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's playing with my shoe. Um, so we, we, uh, I, I spent New Year's Day, I watched the Batman, had some coffee, had, um, my typical, like, New Year's Day morning, uh, breakfast, which is more cheese and sausage, um, and did not do much until... I had menudo. He did. He, we have a, um, a really great Mexican restaurant nearby our apartment. We have a couple, uh, nearby our apartment. And he was like, so this is what you're doing for breakfast, right? And, and I was like, yeah, um, that's what I'm doing. And he's like, are you going to get upset if I just go across the street and get some menudo? <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, not at all. So he had menudo. Um, and um, nobody really cares about what we ate. Yeah, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Well, let's talk about let's talk about the new year here. What are we doing? What are we doing? Um, well, I'm gonna find I, I'm definitely gonna probably find more movies 
to get Joe to watch that he wouldn't have watched before. Yeah, we did like three, three, three Christmas movies, and I liked all except for one of them. It was just okay. Okay, so let's run them down. Let's run them down. Okay, we'll do it quickly though. Okay, you loved Love Actually. Yes, loved it. I loved it a lot. It was pretty good freaking movie. I liked it. What about the Queen Latifah Last Holiday? Loved it. Loved it. We both feel that LL Cool J does not get his due. Ah, oh, man. Ladies love him. Ladies love Cool James. And we do too. Um, but Kate Winslet, The Holiday, is the one you thought was just okay. Yeah, you know, I'm not a fan of fucking what's-her-name at all. Cameron Diaz? Cameron Diaz. I just, I don't know what it is. I just don't like her. And she, yeah, I don't Jack know. Black was fantastic, though. Yeah, he was. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Like, just see a movie with her, and I was like, I don't like it so much. I don't like it. Um, so... <clears throat> We're probably going to do but more... But I didn't hate it, though, either. You didn't hate it. But you you understand why I like it so much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to do more movies, obviously, in, 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 uh, for the show next year, this year. Because it, it is due... It is January 4th. 2023. 2023. Now, amazingly, I have not had that much trouble integrating the three into stuff that I've had to fill out at work. So thankfully we're doing okay with that. Normally I have problems with that. Year I turned 45, get closer to that AARP. That sweet AARP deal. Yes, sir. He's got to make it to 50 and then like a few months afterwards at least so that he can get that sweet AARP. Is it 50 or 55? I don't know. Fifty. Okay. Um, so he's going to keep trucking on here. Um, so we're probably going to find more movies um, for Joe to watch and react to. Um, let's see here. What what else? Um, we're going to keep reading shit because... Anything you're excited for coming up? Um, we're supposed to get a Zoe book, aren't we? Yeah. By Jason uh, Jason I Pargon. Out, I think it comes out sometime this year. Yeah. Sometime this year we're supposed to get a Zoe um a Zoe book by Jason Pargon. Um he is the guy that also wrote um John Dies at the End. Thank you. John Dies at the End. Um Those are great books too. This book is full of spiders. I need to read the new Oh my god, I need to read the new John uh, John Dies at the End book. I forgot. Has that officially come out yet? Yeah, it came out in October. Okay. Um the Zoe books, oh my god, if you've never read them, read them. Um, the first one is uh, Futuristic Violence in Fancy Suits. Yeah. Um, and then the second one is Zoe Punches the Future in the Dick. Do yourself a favor, read them, they're good. They're so good. Um, recently, in, in the last few years, Jason Pargon was uh, using a, um, a pen name. And so if you get confused, like Carrie said, Joe said, Jason Pargon wrote these books and you find an older, like used book or whatever, where it says David Wong, yep. you're on the right place. You're in the right place. He stopped using his pen name um, because uh, he was worried about cultural appropriation and... Um, yeah, because he, he got comfortable with using his own name. I'm pretty excited for that, too. Let's see. Any any real books that I'm excited for? Uh, Besides Zoe. You're going to just keep on keeping on with this. Oh, Ray Salvatore. Yeah, you know what? Right now, I just want to do my Drist thing, but I am pretty excited for Grady Hendrick's new book, too, though. Yes. And, um... How to Sell a Haunted House. And, of course, it is the new year, so uh, sometime during the new year... Stephen King is probably going to pop oh, out a, a, a book or two. Because um, that's just how he well, I haven't read his last few books, so I'm kind of behind on that. <laughs> yeah, we, you are notably behind on that. But you've been you've been really hitting the stressed stuff. Yeah. Oh, a new Dragonlance book is supposed to be coming out. Oh, yeah, Dragonlance, September. Yeah. Um, I'll stop Driss to read that. He will. Um... What are we reading right now? So you're reading uh, Mordrist. I am. I am on uh, Sojourn. 
And you are on book three of Batman Nightfall. Yep. I talk about on Instagram what I'm reading. So um, right now I'm in the middle of Dark Knight Returns. I am in the middle of a Harley Quinn book, um, Preludes and Knock Knock Jokes. Um, and I am also reading all the issues of the Emperor Joker series. Oh, shit. I should talk about that. Well, then later, we're still talking about things right now. I know. But this is a thing I can talk about. Oh, I talk about it. What, what else are you reading right now? Nothing. That's just it? Yeah, that's it. Those two things. Those two things. Those two things. Um, apparently, I'm the one that, that has a problem picking just two things. I, I read a shit ton of things. I mean, if I had some more uh, Black Hammer stuff, I'd be reading that too, but I don't, so. Yeah. There's going to be more Black Hammer coming out in, in March. I know. Yeah. But I'm not caught up enough to actually like, give a shit about that yet. And I'm going to be, I'm going to be honest, I, I, I have been reading some previews and everything like that of this Lazarus planet I, stuff. That's what I, that's what I was going to bring up. I, we're really kind of excited for that. I am very excited. I think um, we're getting a new, if if the artwork, cover art, and everything else that we have access to is any indication, my deductive reasoning is going off on this one, that we're going to be getting... On top of the fact that he is kind of guest starring in the the Joker, the Man Who Stopped Laughing series, we're going to be getting kind of a new um, Red Hood series that's going to be involving Red Hood. Not specifically with that title. We'll see. Um, everything is kind of indicating that there's going to be a new group of uh, vigilantes banding together um and red hood is going to be a part of it um keep on the lookout for vigil mm. um but i'm kind of interested uh about all this lazarus planet stuff and we start on that next week i'm excited for freaking green arrow in a couple months yes i am really hyped for that like really, a, a really new a, a new series of green arrow coming out as did you see the cover reveal today? No. Oh, God, dude. Oh. I did not see that yet. I'm going to have to look that up after we're done recording. Um, however, um, if you were not keeping up with... If you like Green Arrow um, and you've been turned off by DC not having a Green Arrow series for a while, you should know that... At the end of the, by the end of the DC event that just happened, with, uh, just finished, um, that reinstated the multiverse. Are you getting ready to just blurt out a spoiler? Because you might want to just say spoiler alert right here. Okay. Spoiler alert. If you have not read it. Um, the, the, uh, Dark Crisis. Spoiler alert. I'm not going to give too much of a spoiler. But... Ollie is missing. That's a pretty big spoiler. It happens right at the end and everybody's like, oh my god, Ollie's missing. So it's a pretty big spoiler. Okay, well, it's still a spoiler. I, I did a spoiler marker. That's fine. But they haven't been reading. If they haven't been reading and they're not aware, they're not aware. It's not going to matter if I give a spoiler at this point. Ollie is missing. If you've read any of the previews involving... The upcoming Green Arrow comic that is coming in. It, it's either March or April. Um, it's going to be dealing with the fact that Ollie is missing. And Ollie is someplace else. One of my complaints that did happen involving um, Dark Crisis. Is that it was just, it kind of sandwiched in the whole, oh yeah, by the way, um, Black Canary, Roy's alive. <laughs> hey, everybody, Roy's back. Um, I don't think that it really, I, I don't think DC really took the time to, to... Flesh that out. Flesh that out and, and make it the emotional moment that it should have been. Um, I'm disappointed that DC did not reunite him with his daughter. 
Um, though we do have a recent sighting of shoes in the Catwoman, most recent Catwoman issue. Oh yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Um, so I am excited about Lazarus Planet coming out. Green Era, we get a new Green Lantern book that hopefully I can read and understand because if you watched my comic book review video most recently, I did not get the John Stewart Emerald Knight. I just looked up a bunch of stuff on my phone and then I got it. Oh, okay. So I just did it require one, two, or three Google searches? Well, I, I read up the synopsis of Far Sector and then I fucking read up a lot of other stuff that's been happening with John Stewart. So at least two. Yeah. So at least two. And Google I really searches. want to read that Far Sector book. Mm. I've heard good things about that. And that's mostly dealing with Joe. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, any movies that you're excited about coming out? Yeah, Evil Dead Rise. Oh, that's right. I have to watch trailer that. Trailer just fucking trailer. came out today. And oh my god, guys, it looks amazing. So is this going to be involving Mr. Campbell? No. He's, he's a, what's it called, like a producer. Okay, so it, it involves his vision. Yeah. It happens in the same universe. Okay. It's just different people. Okay. Um, let's see here. What else is coming out in 2023 that we can be excited about? We're finally going to get... Um, we got, we've got we got a, a couple um, DC movies coming. Um, There's The Flash. I mean, I mean, I guess. Shazam. Oh, yeah, she's saying two. You never even watched one. You know what? I'll have to watch that one then. Um, I'll watch it, obviously, Blue before. Beetle, I'm kind of excited for that. Blue if Beetle that, might still be even happening. Um, right now, the word is, is that it's happening. They're, 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 they're doing it. But then again, I mean, then again. I'd like to see a Blue Beetle movie. Let's see, man. That, that's awesome. And it is starring the guy from... Uh, Karate Kid. Kara not Karate Kid. Cobra um, Kai. Cobra Kai. Um, hmm. So what, what else do we have going on, uh, um, for, for the show? I'm going to make Joe watch some movies, probably. I think I want to get on video at some point this year. You, you think you're ready? Yeah. We did film some stuff that I have not posted yet. Um, that, so stay on, stay tuned for that. It, it's basically um, Biz admits things on the internet where he has My little, controversial takes of things. <laughs> he has controversial hot takes. Um, and it's just random shit that he comes up with. And I'm like, okay, hold on. Wait, should I film this? <laughs> um, so we, we have a few of those that, that, that um, I, I could piece together and, and, and post. Um, or just post them each individually as, as shorts. Um, but you, you think you want to get officially on camera? Yeah. This year? Yeah, at some point. Okay. Maybe after get another haircut. I need my haircut. Yeah. Shit. Um, we both need haircuts. Um... I actually just launched the first video talking about my creative process cool um so that's there too i'm gonna be writing a lot more this year um i have goals i have goals guys i have goals I have a goal um what's that goal don't die that's the only goal i have ever every year yeah joe doesn't do resolutions or goals just don't die Get okay. through it, man. Just get through it. Just get through it. Get get to that 50 so you get that sweet AARP. Um, Let's not do that, buddy. And the biggest news that I haven't actually talked about very much anywhere, Joe and I will be moving. Yeah. We are moving. To Indianapolis. We are moving to Indianapolis. We are doing that... Very soon, we're doing that in March, and um, we're going to be renting a room from some friends of ours 
It's going to get us out of the hellhole that Rockford is. Um, and going to put us smack dab in Indianapolis, where we're going to be smack dab in a very rich gaming environment. So... Yeah, I'm going to start d and again soon. I've been kind of missing it. Okay, so when you start playing D&D again, what is the character that you're going to have, Joe? Oh, God, man. I haven't even thought about that. I, maybe, you know, I've been reading a lot of drifts. Maybe I'll be a ranger. A ranger? Yeah, mm-hmm. I've never really played a ranger. No? No, I've played clerics. I've played a lot of clerics. I've played a lot of Rogues. swashbucklers and rogue types. and Barbarians. Barbarians. I'm good at the barbarian role play. I should probably do that again. Well, the barbarian was the one that 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 when you first played game with me, mm-hmm. you were the you were the female barbarian. Yep. Yeah. Um, what am I gonna do? Hmm. Dragonborn. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sorcerer. Probably not the dragonborn sorcerer. Dragonborn, Paladin. No. Not Dragonborn. I don't like Dragonborn. Mine are Draconic, yes, but not Dragonborn. Mine are usually Human or Elf. Um, ooh, or Azamar. I'm going to be... You know what? I'm going to be a Swashbuckler again. I had fun playing that last Swashbuckler I had. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The last... The last... Um, the last one that I had was an Asimar Paladin. Um, and so maybe I go back to Sorcerers. I like Sorcerers a lot. I like playing Paladins and I like playing Sorcerers. I like to, I like to change it up every now and again. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll be a dwarf that worships the god of beer. Oh, interesting. Cat. A cleric that worships the god of beer. The healing powers of beer. <laughs> that would be fun. Maybe I'll do that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, since we're going to be smacked up in the middle of Indianapolis, we are going to be looking at new comic book shops. Um, we're unfortunately going to be leaving our guy. Yeah. Um. And that's going to suck because he, he kind of helped usher us back into the hobby. And, uh, you know, he was, he was our Pied Piper. Yeah. He, he convinces us to spend more and more money every week. And, uh, yeah, we both, we, 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 we. And it's really fun talking Silver Age stuff with him, man. He's like, he's a guru on that. We are not far away from the shop. So we literally live right above it. Yeah. Um, so when we go, like there, literally, I could be sitting at home because I work from home for my day job. We can literally be. I could be working, and Joe will be like, "I'm bored. I'm gonna go down and and, and talk with with uh, uh, with with our comic book guy." Like, and li- he has no intention of going down there and buying anything. He just wants to go shoot the shit, like hang out in the comic book shop, and he does that from time to time. So um, he definitely will will miss that. Um, we I will um, miss taking a gummy and shooting the shit with Neil. <laughs> yes, taking a gummy and shooting the shit with Neil, um, who who is a great bullshitter. He is a great bullshitter. He follows the channel, so he might be hearing this right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Neil is a great bullshitter. Um, he has written comic books. Um, he has been in the comic book industry um, as 45? a shop owner for how long? 45, 47 years, I forget. Something like that. Like over 45 years, but under 50. He has owned this shop so he 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 knows his he he's he's great he's great bullshitter and he knows his stuff um so if you ever happen to be in the area you know you know drop in and say hi to neil um 
but we'll be we'll be looking for a new comic book shop. Um, we'll be smack dab in Indianapolis, which is a mecca at least for four days a year for gaming. Um, we're trying to build ourselves up to see if we will go to Gen Con. I don't know about that. Now I think about it more, I'm just like, I don't even know. Um, I want to go meet like Margaret Weiss or something like that, but I don't. So maybe one day at Gen Con is in our future. Yeah. Um, cause really it is all about going to that dealer floor. Um, and, and going to the artist area and author area. And it, I have done four, I have done four days at, at Gen Con. I have. I've done four days at like comic conventions before. Um, so I, I, I know, I know what's, what's up. Um. Oh yeah. You're the god of Gen Con. The god. Comparatively to you. Yes. Never been. So, I I uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll work ourselves up to do a day of Gen Con since we're going to be there. Um, well, you know, if our roommates go, I'll go. Yeah. 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 I mean, the day to go, like for most cons, is always like that last day. Sunday, so you get the deals. Yes. Um. So anything else? Do we need to tell them? Oh, so what I was going to tell you guys is I'm going to be on somebody's program again. I am going to be on a channel, uh, Mr. Comics 89. He does a show called The Knockout. And basically it is like a um, world's deadliest warrior type of show. Except it is pop culture icons and characters and fictional characters um, versus other fictional characters. And uh, he is starting his season four, I believe he says. Um, and he has a YouTube channel here. Um, um, and I am going to be on the first episode of season four. Now, guys, I need all the help I can get because I am arguing for the Joker. Versus Loki. Versus Loki. Hence why I'm reading Emperor Joker right now. <laughs> um, basically, it all boils down to the audience participation. So it is a live show. It is happening January 17th at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central. And you can, if you follow me on social media, so you have probably seen me post the link to go vote. So if you can't be there, please go vote. But be there in the chat because that's the fun of it. And then you can vote for the Joker. Love that Joker. Love that Joker. I, I mean, it, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, I, I wanted to argue for a DC character, and it's all villains this year, uh, this season, and um, I picked the Joker. And then by luck of the draw, basically, I ended up pitted against Loki, the Joker versus the, the God of Mischief. Um... Yeah, uh, so I need all the help I can get, so be there, there's a live chat, check it out, check out, uh, uh, Matt, uh, Mr. Comics 89's channel, it's a wonderful channel, go check it out, that's about it for me. Alright, I'm not doing much of anything. He's reading a lot of Drist. Reading a lot of Drist. And a lot of Batman. A lot of Batman. So, Batman and And Drist. a lot of DC stuff. In, in, in general. In general. I'm, I'm an unrepentant DC fanboy, like I told everybody else, and I'm, I'm proud of it. Yes. Joe is a proud DC fanboy, y'all. And that's okay, because I am a proud DC fangirl. All right. 
But that's about it for us this evening. And, um, yeah, so we'll be seeing you guys. Uh, be sure to check out, oh, some other stuff that's going to be coming up. I'm going to start restart the 30 to make a Whovian, but I'm taking a different, kind of a different spin on it. And I'm also going to be doing, in addition to my uh, 30 to make a Whovian and my comic book reviews and random other shit I'm going to be doing, um... I'm also going to be introducing y'all to the world of Outlander um, with a series. I've been introduced. He is not interested. <laughs> he refers to it as my kissy show. So it is a woman uh, goes back in time um, and all that jazz. So time travel, um, supernatural stuff. You know the picture. Yeah. Um, but anyways, that's it for us. We'll be back next week. Unless you catch me someplace else. Goodbye. And good luck. Make something beautiful.